Welcome to RK Tutorials. Solutions to Engineering Mechanics Textbook, 5th edition by S. Timishanko, D. H. Eng, J. V. Rao, and Sukumar Patil. Problem set 2.1 and question number 2.1. A man weight W is equal to 712 newtons holds one end of a rope that passes over a pulley vertically above his head and to the other end of which is attached a weight Q is equal to 534 newtons. Find the force with which the man's feet press against the floor. This is the given problem. That means there is a man whose weight is 712 newtons is holding one end of the rope. Clearly you can see in the picture. One end of the rope. That rope is passes over the pulley. At the other end of the rope a weight Q is attached. The weight of the Q is given as 534 newtons. Our aim is to find the force here with which the man's feet press against the floor. Here, given that weight of the man is 712 newtons and weight of the Q is 534 newtons. To analyze this system, let us analyze and let us draw the free body diagram of all the three parts that are available here. The three parts are weight Q, the rope that passes over the pulley and the man who is uh, holding the rope here. Let us consider the weight of the Q. If you draw the free body diagram of the Q, here you can see the weight is acting downwards here 534 newtons. At the other end, the rope is attached. By considering the equilibrium of the weight Q, the force in the rope must be upwards and the magnitude of the force is 534 newtons. Since weight is acting downwards, the force in the rope must be upwards and the magnitude is 534 newtons. The same rope is passing over the pulley. So if you draw the free body diagram for the pulley, this side, the force in the rope must be downwards to satisfy the equilibrium of the rope. This side, the force must be downwards and the magnitude is 534 newtons. Since towards right side, the force is downwards, once again, by considering the equilibrium of the rope, the force in the other side of the rope must be downwards and the magnitude is also equals to 534 newtons. Now the same rope is holding by the man. That means the force acting in the rope which is holded by the man is must be upwards by considering the equilibrium of the rope and magnitude is 534 newtons. If you draw the free body diagram of this man, we know that weight is 712 newtons and from this free body diagram, we understood that the force acting in the rope 
which is holded by the man is upwards and the magnitude is 534 newtons. That's what we analyzed from this diagram. And there is a force acting on the man's feet by the floor. Now, if you consider the free body diagram of this man, there are three vertical forces. All these vertical forces are in line. In line. That means this 534 newtons are also acting here vertically above his head. Given that vertically above his head. That means all these three forces are in a same line. Hence, I can apply my equilibrium equation sigma fy is equal to 0. By applying that sigma fy is equal to 0, we can write the equation that f plus 534, both the forces acting in the upward direction, is equal to the force acting in the downward direction that is 712 newtons. By simplifying this equation, I will get f is equal to 178 newtons. Hence, the force with which the man's feet press against the floor is 178 newtons. This is the answer. My dear friends and students, if you want the solution for any of the subject in the field of machine design, namely strength of materials, theory of machines, machine design, engineering mechanics, finite element method, mechanical vibrations, please give the reference in the comment section so that I will solve the problem, prepare a video and upload in my channel. Please subscribe and share my video.